what's up we're back fishing for cutties as you probably saw in the last video uh, my camera crapped out something went funky with the SD card or whatever so I didn't get a whole lot of footage anyway we're back we're prototyping some streamers today I've made a few changes to the last streamer that I was tying and we're gonna see how it does the goal is to create a streamer that hooks up on more fish and that entices more fish to eat in the first place. So I'm constantly making changes. We're going along. We're going to see how it goes. Keep you updated. As I'm fishing, I want to point out a few things. I chose this part of the reservoir because there's deep rocky points that jut out into the lake and the fish cruising by can find structure and food off of those points. And the other reason is, as I'm prototyping this streamer, I want to see the fish. I want to see how they engage with the fly. And that way I can make changes to it and kind of see, you know, did that fish eat it all the way? Why didn't it hook up? How's it swimming? Was the fish interested or not? And I can make changes. But as I walk around on this higher, steeper, bank I can look down see fish see how they react to the fly but I know there's going to be fish here because of these rocky points that the fish are going to hold on I switched locations. The spot where I was fishing before with the steep cliffy banks just wasn't really producing. I saw two fish over there in a space where I figured I should have seen 20. And so I switched locations. I'm going complete opposite. I'm going shallow weed beds, fishing off of points and structure weed beds, that kind of stuff. But yeah, completely opposite. We'll see how it goes. First cast. While I'm here, I just had a fish, but I want to talk about why I came to this little bay. There's a lot of weeds and old sagebrush and stuff in here and there's tons of crayfish that hang out in here and where there's food there's gonna be fish I just missed another one had another two follow so in the last 10 minutes I've had more action here than I've had over there in probably two hours so good choice to move take a look at all the crayfish pieces here from the birds and other things that are eating them. Lots of food to grow big fish here. I know you cannot see it, but I'm way up here and there's a good, good fish cruising right there. So we're gonna go drop down and see if we can get him. Yes, 
We're just jumping. Fins. Switched up to a real small streamer. Got the job done. I was about ready to switch to a dry. There's fish rising relatively consistent here and I haven't really had much action on a streamer but yeah maybe I'll stick with it for a bit longer Let's talk about strips for a minute. The varied strips will help you do different things with the fly. If you want to swim it, like a minnow, I've got a little tiny minnow fly on right now. I'm going to do real quick short strips here. If you want to imitate a bait fish that's maybe dying or wounded, what you'll do is do a real big strip, real hard, get the fly moving and then do a pause and what that will do is it'll jut the streamer forward and then as you pause it'll kick off to the side and look like it's swimming wounded you can always add a whole bunch of different strips together to do a different effect you can do really big long smooth strokes and that looks like an escaping bait fish or minnow. As I cast and strip, I do a whole bunch of different techniques until I find one that maybe the fish are really excited about. I'll do one cast with a lot of mixed stuff where I'm doing big hard strips with pauses, long fast strips, and I'll just kind of mix it up until I find one thing that the fish are pretty excited about. Today it's kind of a medium speed with the occasional pause that's what I've found has been really the only thing that these fish are responding to.
while you're fishing, you're going to encounter a lot of different casting situations. Sometimes you're going to have to do a steeple cast. Sometimes a standard overhead cast is going to work. Maybe some kind of spay cast will be the ticket or just doing something a little bit different like turning around and casting backwards or casting over your opposite shoulder due to wind, obstructions in your back cast, whatever that might be. But it's always good to practice these things beforehand. If you don't have time to go out and cast, then don't be afraid to try these things on the water just so that you're a better caster and able to get your fly where you want it. Practice casting over your opposite shoulder or practice casting where you're turned around and shoot the line backwards. You know, try these different casts so that when the situation presents itself and you have a fish feeding, you can reach those fish and you're going to achieve a lot more success if you can do varied types of casts for the situation that you're fishing. Guys, what a beast. Fresh from the hatchery. Thanks for watching. If you saw something in this video that you felt was useful, subscribe. Tell a friend about it. If you didn't, leave us a comment and let us know how we can do better. Tell us how terrible we are. Hit that thumbs down button, whatever it is. Hopefully we see you next week. I hope you guys are learning from these videos and we'll see you then.